Good afternoon, I'm Gary Smith. I'm the CEO President of Rotoslide. I'm going to give you a presentation of our model that we built here to show you how the motors and everything uh, work with one another. Uh, to start off with, this is a lower motor with a bent sub in it. And for a demonstration, imagine this being drill pipe at this time and this being our top drive. I will turn on the lower motor, which represents fluid flowing through the system, and you'll see our bits turning. This is a high-speed medium torque motor designed to turn 250 gallons per minute for flow through it and with that same RPM of 250 RPM. The, at this point, we are sliding at a zero degree tool face. In a normal rotation, the top drive is turned on, drill pipe is turning, lower motor is turning, and you're drilling straight ahead. To have a certain tool face angle, you would want them to stop the top drive. At this point, we're on about 180 degrees. If I was looking for 270, I'd have to bump it, and now I'm drilling at 270 degree tool face. The problem is, when I'm sliding, I have about 10% the rate of penetration that I would have if I was drilling full ahead. So, again, full ahead, say 100 feet an hour, in a sliding mode, 10 feet an hour. Well, obviously, we would like to be at 100 feet an hour on a continuous basis. So, what I've done is to put in an upper motor to allow for continuous rotation of our drill pipe while holding the lower motor static. So, imagine the drill pipe out. Now, a top motor has been put in, connected to the bottom motor. And with flow going through this motor, it now turns the lower motor in a counterclockwise rotation. The reason is this rotor that's inside of this upper motor is turning counterclockwise. So hence the lower motor turns counterclockwise. Well obviously we don't want that even though our bit's turning to the right. So what I do now is turn on my top drive and I set the RPM on it to stop the lower motor. So here we are at this point turning the lower motor counterclockwise and now we bring it to a static position by controlling the speed of the rotor here. Basically, this stator is being offset by the rotor RPM and therefore you end up with a geostable point between them. Now if I want to drill ahead, I increase the stator RPM. Now my lower motor drills ahead just like it did before in the old system. But if I want to stop on a certain tool phase, I would stop my RPM it's at 270. If I wanted a zero, I increase it slightly to a zero tool face, and I hold it there. And we drill ahead. But the beauty thing is now, as I'm maintaining 100 feet an hour rotation, because my drill pipe is rotating, my top drive is rotating, but our lower motor is sliding. That's why we call it rotor slide. If I want 180 degrees, I increase my rotation of my motor, top motor. And now I have my tool face at 180 degrees. If I want to drill ahead, just like I was doing before, I would increase the RPM more on the top motor. And now I'm rotating at 360 degrees, just like before. So this is basically our concept here. And our idea is to be able to use a top drive to control the tool face angle that we want to allow us to have a rotary steerable system and yet we're using conventional motors. So if you have any questions, please contact us and go to our website at www.roto-slide.com. We have a full in-depth analysis of what's going on there, and we also have a presentation. So thank you for joining us. I appreciate your time.